In this video about talking about file management in the MyViewBoard Whiteboard Online, we're going to be talking about saving and opening. Keep in mind that your file management is going to be that file folder that is located at the tippy top of your toolbar that's located on the right hand side of your screen. And it looks just like exactly like an old school file folder. Now, if I go ahead and left click it once, you can see on the side that I have a few different options I can choose from. I have a new page, which will give me a whole new canvas. I have an open, a save as, and a share by QR code. And the save as is gonna be the way that you wanna go ahead and save your different work. You can see that there is a this PC option, which is gonna be your computer, your Google Drive, along with any shared drives that you have. For me, I want to go ahead and go back into my file management just so that you can see that in just a second. But for now, I'm going to go to my next page so that you can see this as a reference for my lesson plan. So let's say I want to go ahead and save this for my next period or for next year. I'm going to go to my file management system, go to save as, and from there, I'm going to go ahead and go down to my Google Drive because I want to save it to my drive. As you can see that this looks exactly like my Google Drive typically does and I'm just going to go to my lessons folder because that's where I want to save this and at the bottom I can go ahead and type in the file name for my lesson. So this one I want to go ahead and name it tree frogs because that's what this lesson's about. As you can see on the side it's going to save as a .qb file and in the lower right hand corner is a check mark and that is going to be important to click in order for you to go ahead and save this directly into your Google Drive. As you can see at the top left, it shows the path of where it saved it. So it showed that it saved into my Google Drive. And I now have a copy of that saved there. Now let's talk about opening really quick because this is gonna be something that is very important to know about as well. So for opening it, it's gonna be the same location, which is going to be in that file management system. Really quickly though, but before we talk about opening, I would like to say that you now do see a different icon, which is the save button. This is gonna be any time that you wanna update that file. So if you go ahead and save it as a save as and name it and you wanna update it, you can click that standard floppy disk and it's gonna update that file. So any new annotations you make are gonna be saved there. Now let's say I wanna go ahead and open something up. However, you can see I already have this open. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click on where it says new. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, just letting you know that it's gonna create a new file. And I'm now back to square one. Keep in mind, I didn't have to close the tab in order to start a whole new canvas. I just had to click that new button in my file management. Now, if I go back to that file management folder, left click it, go to open. You can see that I can go from my PC or my Google Drive, but this time I'm going to go to my lessons. As you can see, my tree frog lesson is right there. And all I need to do is touch and drag it. So that's a left click and drag it onto my canvas hit the yes to go ahead and open it on up. And as you can see, it went ahead and opened up my lesson once again. I hope this video was very helpful about learning how to open different things in the MyViewBoard whiteboard software. Keep in mind that this is only for QB files. This is not for importing your Google Slides. If you'll want to make sure to watch the Magic Box importing in order to do that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you continue to watch more.